Okay, here is Bandai's Mecha Kale VF31J from the new Macross TV series, Macross Delta. Uh, this didn't take too long to put together. All of the pieces were on uh, four different plastic uh, trees. Maybe take about an hour. Um, I'd say that um, the stickers uh, take the longest to apply yeah, because you have to get them on straight and I did a bit of panel lining with a gray GM-02 Gundam marker it's a really small kit and uh, there's the display stand it comes off of course okay there's the underside uh, it's too bad they didn't include any stickers for the bottom half. Um, but again, this is uh, a $4 kit, so you, know, you get what you get what you pay for. Really inexpensive. And if you want to, you can add uh, maybe add an additional paint or decals. Not bad at all, but you do have to get the stickers on pretty straight, you know. And what is nice um, about the stickers, uh, there's already panel lining included, so I thought that was nice. And I believe next month they have for the SV262. Um, Keith Windermere, uh, his uh, VF coming out. So I believe that's the next in the series. And uh, the closer uh, de detailing of the cockpit. Again, they're pretty tiny. I believe it's around 1 200 scale. And they do have the Mecha. None no, of the medical colleague, the Tommy Tech. Uh, they're also releasing uh, VF 31J, and I believe it's 144 scale. So this will have to do until uh, the Plamo, or for the folks that are getting the 172 Plamo, or uh, the 160 scale, supposedly 160 uh, DX scale. Again, this is fighter only, it doesn't come with additional parts. Pretty impressed. Uh, again, this is uh, only 400 yen, so no room for complaints here. Uh, I would have liked some additional stickers for the bottom, but I like it. It's neat. So, what do you think? Okay, there it is. Bandai's uh, VF31J. Hayate Imelman version from the Mecha Kole series. One more thing I forgot to include uh, here is the box, the sprue trees, and the sticker sheet that was included.